YouTube, Shikun Shinomi here with an unboxing of the Pokemon trading card game Ash Greninja EX box. So, um, for those of you that watched the anime, you know that um, recently Ash's Frogadier just evolved into a Greninja, and when he did, he had this this spiritual connection with Ash, and it transformed him into this different form, and he totally kicked butt. Albeit it was briefly, we will see this guy a ton more in future episodes of the anime. But, uh, for now, he is dubbed Ash Greninja EX because of his connection with Ash. And it turns him into this cool, kind of red star design. And he's got a big old water shuriken on his back and stuff. It is really cool. It is a design I really enjoy. But, of course... The anime is the anime, the games are the games, and the TCG are the TCG, but of course there is cross-promotion. So here we are with the TCG's rendition of Ash Greninja. So you can see that right here, we do get four booster packs in this box, two breakpoint, one breakthrough, and one ancient origins, as well as a jumble, jumble? <laughs> jumble mess. A jumbo card of Ash Greninja EX. So, this was available at my local Barnes & Noble for $19.95, um, but it will be available at um, most major retailers for $19.99, and I have seen this at Toys R Us as well, but I don't know what Toys R Us is charging because they was overcharged for their TCG stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look. All right, so first off, we have the promo card for Ash Greninja EX. You got some pretty cool artwork up in there. It is XY133. I do believe XY will have the biggest number of promo cards available in any generational block that we've had. Might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure XY will. Uh, so here we are. Dancing Shuriken for a water and a colorless. Flip three coins. This attack does 20 damage times the number of heads to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you can get up to 60 damage off uh, with this guy, which is not great. But I can see it be situationally good in something like Greninja Break. Um, if you can hit uh, two Greninja Breaks, do 60, or do 60 and 30 and 90, and hopefully hit with another 60, you can start knocking out like an EX that's on the bench uh, pretty easily. Again, it's super situational with this, and I don't think it would be really good in Greninja Break, but I could see some people wanting to test it out like that. And Ninja Blade, 130 for an additional water. Pokemon can't use Ninja Blade during your next turn. Pretty, pretty typical. But, um, nothing, nothing too crazy. Some pretty cool artwork, and of course you do get to the Jumbo card of Ash Greninja EX. That serves no purpose other than to maybe fan yourself or put it on your wall. Or something. I don't know. We got a lot of these. I could probably, like, wallpaper an entire wall with the amount of jumbo cards I have now. So, that uh, is that. Um, I'm really interested to see if any of the TCGO players that I watch on YouTube are going to attempt to try to play this. Because uh, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, and here is the code card for the set. Um, I know it'll give you one copy of the Ash Greninja EX. Don't know if it's going to give you anything else. I really, really hope that there's sleeves involved, because I would love TCGO sleeves of Ash Greninja. So, let's go ahead and uh, open up these packs. We'll start with the uh, the Ancient Origins and work our way through to the break point. Alright, so flubs aside, um, I just actually recorded a Dollar Tree unboxing uh, video. So it feels weird opening up uh, normal like 10 card booster packs. I'm not used to this anymore. Uh, we got a Persian, a Baltoy, Inke, Gumi, Oop, Beldum, Forest of Giant Plants, a Gloom, a Vaporeon, a Reverse Regirock, and an Entei. This is actually a pretty good Entei. Uh, it's being built in Flareon decks lately. Because of Burning Roar, discard the top four cards of your deck. If any of those are fire energies, attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Which is great. Great for Flareon EX. Which is a really fun deck that I have built both online and physically. I really, really like Flareon EX. So that uh, is, is that. Uh, again, code cards will be used. Uh, Woobat. Ghastly. Doduo. This is Breakthrough, by the way. Staryu. Cyndaquil. Pillow Swine. Breakzen. An Assault Vest. Verse Spritzy. And a Simiseer. Got a fire theme 
going on here. So hopefully the breakpoint packs are a little bit better. Because those certainly weren't that good. Though Entei's not too bad. I'm all for Entei because I actually don't know how many of those I had. So I'm going to modify my Flare on EX to put that Entei in it. But anywho's, enough about my decks. Uh, Timple, Spritzy, Drowsy, Shelder, Trubbish, Potion, Pseudo Wudo, Heatmore, a Reverse Psychic's Third Eye, and a Full Art Espeon EX. That is a beaut. Beauty. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that is so gorgeous. Um, Espeon's a pretty fun card to play one of in certain decks. Um, Miraculous Shine. Devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card um, on it into your opponent's hand. So basically, if your opponent has a full bench of, we'll say, Greninjas, and you use Miraculous Shine, those top cards would get put back in your opponent's hand. So you're looking at the Greninja Breaks going back, or the normal Greninjas going back, depending on how high evolved that card is. So, uh, if you have spread enough damage, you're looking at a knockout um, for for those, which is basically the strategy behind Espeon EX. Alternatively, if your opponent is playing Megas that don't have any Spirit Links attached, that's pretty good for that as well. So we have a Espeon EX full art. That is pretty. There is a Umbreon coming out that I'm super excited about. Not because it's a good card. I forgot what it does. I don't even know if it's good. But because Umbreon's like one of my favorite Pokemon. So, Ducklet, Honage, Scrulp, Spritzy, Timpole, Electivire, Splash Energy, another Pseudo Wudo, a Reverse Froki, and a Luxray. So, no hollows, no normal EXs, or anything of the like, no breaks, but we did get to this super duper pretty full art Espeon EX. So, it wasn't a total waste. Of course, I bought it for the Ash Greninja EX promo card. Because I'm a promo collector, so that is what I do's. But there we go. So not too bad. Uh, Could have been a little bit better, but the full art Espeon EX totally makes up for it. Beautiful card and a good card. Uh, nonetheless, to top it all off. So again, I picked this up at my local Barnes & Noble for $19.95. I've seen it at my local Toys R Us as well. Have not seen it at Targets or Walmarts yet, but it should be right around the corner, if not already, by the time this video goes live. So... Happy hunting, and this should be available for $19.99 at most major retailers. So, that about does it for this unboxing. If you like it, go ahead and blast that like button, comment below, and subscribe for more. So, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.